Scientists around the world have been buzzing about the recent increase in activity by the Aurora Borealis or Northern Lights. Ashley DiMartino explains the science behind what makes this year's glow so prominent. Glow, glow our Northern Lights. How I wonder what you are. Northern Lights, um, they could probably be in the north. Good guessing by our future scientists at the Arizona Science Center. But to understand the Northern Lights, we first need to know more about our star, the sun. So the sun is a dynamic system, and dynamic just means that it's active. And it's active because it's plasma, a superheated gas. It's through that activity that we see the dark spots or very strong areas of activity that send out what's called solar flares. And when they interact with our magnetosphere, our magnetic field, they excite the gases in our atmosphere and they glow. The colors behind the northern lights. So when I excite this vial of air, we are going to see one of the many colors of the Aurora Borealis. What makes the glow unique this year is the sun is in a solar maximum. The maximum amount of activity that the sun will have in a given cycle. Which happens when the sun is in a solar cycle. The cycle is where our north and south poles of the sun flip. The cycle takes 11 years and at its halfway mark like it is right now, the solar flares are more intense and travel further south from the poles. It's all tracked by the KP scale. Think of it like a seismic scale and it monitors the geomagnetic activity. For us, we are going to need a planetary index of a seven, so a really intense flare in order for it to travel farther enough to be seen in our night skies. That's right. Arizona has a chance of seeing the northern lights in our night sky, but the sun's very unpredictable, so we'll have to kind of wait and see. Ashley DiMartino, ABC 15, Arizona.